Hey guys, what's up? Oh, make sure I'm zoomed out because I love my face. But when it's all you see, you might as well not be looking at it. It's like everything else, right? It's relative. The beauty of my face is relative to its surroundings. I decided it's a little later in the day. It's about five o'clock. Oh, people are going swimming over there. That looks really nice. It's later in the day. I decided to take like a nice mid-afternoon walk. Are the zit zit? Hi, zit zit flies. Can you see them all flying around? Zit. Yeah, zit. Don't worry, guys. I'm not here to harm, but I am the loudest animal around. <sighs> I, uh, today brought a sweater just in case the mosquitoes remember me from yesterday. I'm gonna go a little further into the woods, I think, today. And maybe, just maybe, that's a dragonfly. Look at all these dragonflies, if you can see them. As I walk, they go flying up out of the ground. Wow, they're totally disturbing their ecosystem right now. But maybe my disturbance is part of the ecosystem. Butterflies. Um, what I was saying was maybe I'll actually screw in my tripod, which looks like this. I'm using a flip camera right now, by the way. This is the tripod. It's a gorilla tripod. Or it's not really, I don't think it's actually a gorilla is the company, but it, it's really nice. Let me screw that in and uh, really speak. Wow, look at this. See if you can see. Did you see how everything just took off? There's so much life. Is that just... Look at all that. Oh my god. Little, these creatures, one step. I don't know if you can see. Oh my lord, there's so much life. I mean, it's just every step I take is, is all this, all these creatures are, are popping up out of the grass. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, coming through. Wow, that's amazing. So I didn't drink any coffee today and um, I feel better. <sighs> I feel like I'm clearing out my system kind of. It's funny, those days after you, you get less acid, you kind of almost have more acid because your body's kind of pushing it out. So you're really feeling it. It's in your ventricles. Oh, gosh, guys. Hi. Hey, Bumblebee. Man, what beautiful life. All this life. All right, I'm going to put my sweater on really quick before I venture in. into the woods. Boy, my nose is running. I got bit to shit yesterday. I was like, I wonder if these are mosquitoes. And uh, got them on my arms, my back. Obviously, see, the way you deal with mosquito bites is don't scratch them. If you don't scratch them, they basically go away after a day. Um, if you scratch them, though, even, well, they kind of vanish, and they're still there, even though they're not, you don't see them or feel them. But if you happen to scratch a spot where um, a dormant mosquito bite is, it'll, it'll flare up. But uh, if you don't scratch them, you know, three or four days, they're gone pretty much. No trace. This is really cool. This is the, this is the trail, the hidden trail within a trail. One of these days, maybe I'll take another trail back here because uh, it would be something new. The humidity today is out. I can see it. I can see the misty, the mist, the misty mist, the misty fog. I remember this part. Look, hi, sticker bush. Hi, sticker bush. Sticky. All right. I'm not going to fuck with these plants because they don't want to be fucked with. So, how is life different today in the moisture? I can breathe easier. It smells better. 
there's more bugs flying around. Well, little guys, there's more little guys popping all around. Um, I can hear water, and that's either the water in the trees with the wind. That is what it was. I can hear the water in the trees as the wind blows through them. It sounds like a rushing river. Freaking cool. So what's on the agenda today? Ian, what's going on? Um, <clears throat> well, you know, just out here enacting my full self in the woods and uh, getting back in touch with my voice. My voice. Boy, I can hear my voice. I can feel the dryness in my voice. There's a river back here somewhere that I want to find. I think because I'm moving with a, uh, a camera in my hand, I'm moving way slower than normal. I noticed after yesterday after I shut the video off and headed back. Dude, this is like a fucking fairy tale. Look at this. It's like I'm just walking along and all of a sudden there's this canopy that's like you got a duck under. And then you come out on the other side. Um, yesterday as I... Look how red that is. As I wrapped my camera recording, um, I just bolted. I took a run. I ran back. I was just cutting through. I wasn't like looking for trails or anything. Hopping over stones and shit. And it was so much quicker. I mean, I walked for 30 minutes and then I turned around and ran for like five or seven minutes and was pretty much back to the entrance. This is a nice path here. Kind of yesterday as I was talking a lot with my face, I was kind of wishing that you could see, this is that area I said that I took hours to get down, just to cross down in there that one day when I was high out of my mind. Um, that, you know, it's nice to watch myself talking and it's actually very, very entertaining to watch the face of the human that's saying the words but it's really nice to see like where I'm headed. Really cool. So today, I, uh, I've, been sleep I've been sleeping really late. I just picked a piece of apple out of my tooth. That's tasty. Boy, I gotta get back to eating fruit. Like I eat abnormally large amounts of fruit. I eat so much fruit. Here's the fats, the gate. The building, I still want to go through that door that's locked. One of these days I'll bring an axe. Just kidding. I don't know why it's roped off. Let's go find out why it's roped off. Um, but I've been sleeping really late. It's a deer. Hey man. No worries on this end. I wonder where he went. Should I chase him? That'd be crazy, right? Well, I gotta be more aware, man. They were blending in. Oh, this structure is a deer enclosure. Okay, pause your thing if you wanna read that. I'm not gonna waste time. This structure, let me read it out loud as I put it on. This structure is a deer enclosure created by Wilton Deer Management Committee in September 03. Its purpose is both scientific and educational to study the effects deer are having on our forest ecology and help us devise ways to manage their destructive impact on our own health and environment. Signed, I'm sorry, signed donated by the Classic Sign Company. What better name for a sign company than Classic? And the deer was right here. He was just sitting here right outside the enclosure. So I guess he, he had made his way outside. So where... There's a bunch of deer in there. This is a, a state park. I saw some chipmunks the other day. I really want to go explore that area, but you know, it's fenced off for a reason. You know, one of these days, I'll go meditate with the deer. I saw this picture with a bunch of deer on Facebook where like, um, it was like, I don't know if they had like set up a camera and 
flashed, like waited till late at night when all the deer were out feeding and then flashed a light, but all the deer looked at the camera. There was like all these deer on the, in the picture at once. I'd never seen more than 10 deer in a picture until then. Something's above me. I was sleeping late and then we just had a brief conversation about raising our heart rate and how it's like, oh, I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? Well, there's two answers. I can sleep or I can wake up. I mean, or I can sit there and still be tired, but I'm gonna eventually sleep or wake up. I decided to wake up today. I had a few videos that I wanted to respond to. Um, guy and girl, and I don't really even know your names. I and I didn't bring your the videos with me, so I don't have the names of the channels. But you guys had responded in the last week, and I just wanted to kind of shout back to you. It's really good to hear. Um, I like I'll put the name of the person on the video for you or whatever. It's really great to hear that. You're feeling inspired by these videos because sometimes I'm, I get a little uh, bogged down in um, seeing things not happen as fast as I want them to happen and thinking that nothing's happening. But in fact, I'm reaching out to people, I'm touching people spiritually and psychologically and physically, I guess you could say with vibrational sound, vibrations or whatever, light vibration sound. It's all physical, baby, 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 baby. Um, and it's really good to hear that you're actually being affected because then it starts to make me think like, yo, I shouldn't be flippant with my words. I shouldn't just say stupid shit. Like, if people are really listening to me, if you're really listening to what I'm saying, I'm not gonna tell you to jump off a bridge. I'm gonna tell you to help yourself, heal yourself, eat better foods, eat alkaline food, like fruit, particularly like melons, cantaloupes, watermelons, Berries, strawberries are good, blueberries are amazing, blackberries and raspberries, particularly blackberries, blueberries. Grapes are really good for you too. I ate some, uh, some oats today. It's like this, uh, this, this mixed flax seed. Flax seeds are really good for you too. Got some healthy fat in them. Coconut's really good for you, shredded coconut. That's, if you can get like a big bag of shredded coconut, you can just eat it, and you can mix it with anything. I've been eating a lot of smoothies. You know, I've been doing a lot of yogurt, which actually is kind of acidic. Uh, most dairy is kind of acidic. It's not, it's not really a natural thing for a human being to eat dairy. We've, we really domestic, I can feel like the snot coming out of my nose. Be, of the, it's like the acid, that's the acid is causing this, this mucus in the lymph. Well, lymph, mucus is lymph. Um, but you know, since we domesticated cows, we started really eating a lot of dairy and it's not necessarily the healthiest thing for our bodies. A little bit of it though is fantastic. As usual, as usual, you know, I'm very shamanistic in that way. Uh, I like to poison myself in small amounts and reap the benefits in the long run from the healing. And then when I see someone that's poisoned, I know exactly what they're going through almost. And I can feel, like I can touch someone's arm and feel how their leg muscle is reacting to that. Because I know when I put my hand on my arm, my leg muscle reacts in a certain way. And it's like I can feel it in my own body as if it's their body. That's something I do when I do body healing. It's really interesting. I want to be loud. I want to exercise my voice. Ah, 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 you know, ha, ha, ha. But at the same time, I don't want to freak everything out because it's such a placid environment. Oh, maybe the environment's meant to be broken apart. There's two types of chemistry, you know, there's the destructive and the constructive types, the acidic and the alkaline the male and the female, the destructive force and the constructive force. So I think that sometimes talking 
is destruction because you're, you're, you're rubbing your vocal cords together so hard and fast that you're causing all this heat, this destructive power that causes sound. And that meditation, you know, and empty thought, and calmness, coolness, and clearness is allowing construction to take place. Reparation. Reparation. Giant stone walls. Let's head deeper into the woods. It's cool right now. It's it's not hot like it was yesterday. Of course, it's five in the afternoon. It's like noon yesterday or something. This is a way I haven't gone before. I think. I think I'm going to, you know, I really want to be a professional blogger, but I don't like my ego being all, Ian Crossland, me, this is me, 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 everybody look at me, look at me, look at me. I don't like doing that when I look at it from the outside, you know, just doing that is kind of fun. Doing that is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I could be a perform performer. I went to college for a performance. I like to perform. I've been doing it for a long time. But when I look at it from the outside, it's like, yo, dude, I look like a fool. Like, what am I, what, what right does this monkey have to get up in everyone's face and blah, blah, blah. But like, I got to do something with my life and I don't want to be a fireman. I don't want to be a doctor. Not like a practiced eight-year medical doctor because of this fucking industries are so a lot of these industries are fucked up like I don't want to like I don't even want to work in the entertainment industry necessarily like the on a paramount and what a dreamworks and all these fucking companies because they're so corporate there's so much like we love you come join us oh now that you're here change and it's like I don't want to sign up for that. I, um, I do what I do because I like to do it and I like to get paid for it. And it's amazing when you can get paid for it, but even like Google, love you, Google, love you, YouTube. Thanks for the unlimited upload space, more or less, but they're corporate and they, um, you know, they've got their rules and restrictions, but I got to say Google as a corporation is pretty fucking awe-inspiring and groundbreaking because they've let me put up crazy shit and granted I haven't really I don't think I've ever broke the law on camera I mean maybe I've pressed some copyright issues here and there with like music in the background but like I've never smoked pot on camera I've never I've never even shown a drug on camera um that I know of so but but even so I've done such radical conceptual things you know that it's been great that Google's been like, fuck, man. And they, I mean, they posted me on the front page of, of fucking YouTube. And they highlighted my, and like the, the individuals are so fucking forward thinking. Steve Grove, who heads the political department of YouTube, is amazing. And he, at least he did for years. I, I'm not sure, Steve, if you, I haven't even talked to you in years, man, but he's very fort minded. A lot of people there are. I thought of uh, some other people that. May or may not still be there. Um, who I can't remember by name right now. Because it's been so long. But, uh, so working for Google. It's pretty cool getting ad revenue. Just to kind of be yourself and go the extra mile of recording it on video. It's a pretty good gig, actually. Getting ad revenue for a living. It's like, as a performer, yeah, getting paid for live performance is cool too. And I guess when you break it down, that's really all that, that's the main, one of the main thing that matters is that you're able to get paid for live performance. See, if I didn't have the camera in my hand right now, I'd already be past this. Dig it. Foot. Grip. Are you ready to use momentum to grip? 
the woods beckons. I wrote a song, and one of the words in the song is beckonize. My mother's name is Becca. Beck. Beck. Met a girl one time named Rebecca. Really inspired me. She did some YouTube videos with me for a while. And that name, that name, Rebecca. Becca, Becky. Beckon. Call you forward. Kind of calls me out. I like this little clearing. I could set up a camp over here. I don't like it that it's on a hill, but like right there maybe. Get a little bit of cover. This is actually a really nice cleared area. Get the stone enclosure right there. All right, anyway, let's move on. So, thanks man for, and I know what you mean, like, I saw you kind of touch into your negativity, like in fact, your, your furrowed brow, I'm getting back to this video response. Um, I could really f see your brow is very furrowed, and I notice when I do that, it's like tension, you know, forward, this, this tension up here. And a lot of times when I watch uh, videos of myself and I see that, I'm like, oh, notice that, because that stuff's not good. That's, you want to release that tension in your head and relax this area right here. Oh, let the brain grow normal. Maybe something about tension causes the lobes here to push forward or something. But like you, I saw you kind of drip into the negativity of like, you know, people are, what, what, the specific things you said, I, I don't even remember. Every time I open my mouth, I feel like when I'm opening my mouth and breathing, these, these flies are like, ooh, yay, it's a little warmer. But I mean, I, just for a moment, you kind of dipped into the negativity about what you thought people were like, you know, trying to get the best piece of meat and no one really wants to share, but you know, some people certainly want to share. I'm sharing my energy right now with the camera and granted it's something I want to do for a living. So I almost feel obligated to do it, but I, di I, I didn't start doing it out of an obligation. Really, I started doing it because I thought it was the best way to connect with the mass of humanity. And I really enjoy doing it. I mean, good lord, I'm fucking taking a leisurely walk in the woods, talking, basically airing out all my concerns to a video camera. And it's also sharing. I'm sharing. I'm giving you myself. And I'll do it again. Um, and it's a lot of work. It's way easier to sit around and not do anything, that's for sure. So people will share. People do share. Some people don't, but people do, and a lot of people do. And I think... What we're finding with this Gathering the Minds thing is that you can have hundreds of admins, I mean, over a hundred admins all working together and the system doesn't collapse. And like, the internet hasn't collapsed on itself. It's a bunch of people working together that haven't destroyed themselves yet. Our, our, our economy is a trust-based economy. It hasn't collapsed on itself yet. Like, I mean, it's, you can see aspects of it are collapsing because people have kind of violated the trust, but people are, very much built to work together. Which is odd because of all the warfare in our history, um, including up into today. You know, there's still probably, good lord, right now a bomb probably just went off somewhere. It's kind of fucking crazy. But we're still built to work together. And there's this miscommunication that goes on between this side and that side. And like, if you get people to you know, these people that are manipulating the mass of people are trying to, that are like, if you can get them to look at a television or at a war or something where you get them to kind of divert their attention, you can get them to buy your products easier and way easier, you know, they've found over the years. But we are still built to work together to overcome problems and to share. And you can always split something in half. So if you have a piece of meat, you split it in half and then you split each of those halves in half, and you split each of those halves in half, and you can feed 15, 16 people, right? Yes, right, you can. I'm a big fan of when I go into the refrigerator not eating the last of something, but taking half of whatever's left, even if there's very, very little left. 
And so are these flies. What else did you say in your video? You know, getting motivated, that's a big part of it. And I think literally you want your body motivated. You want the energy in your body flowing naturally. And you know, comes from eating the right foods and getting enough exercise, getting your blood flowing, your circulation, getting your posture right, so that you're, because you can walk and walk and walk, but if your posture is fucked up in your, up, in your upper core, uh, the blood's not gonna flow properly from your legs to your heart. Like you need to, you know, release tension and keep your spine kinda nice and balanced. You're basically floating, like, um, you're full of hydrogen. I know I've said this before. Hydrogen's lighter than air. Air is like nitrogen and a lot of things, but there is hydrogen in air, but hydrogen itself is lighter than the, you know, a cubic foot of air. So the hydrogen in your body is lighter than air. Basically, the reason it's easy to stand up in a world with such heavy, heavy gravity is because you're floating. And um, it's kind of like you're floating in a three-dimensional pool of water like uh, instead of floating flat on the surface of water, you're floating standing up. You're kind of like uh, tied down to the ground by gravity, but floating up for it. And um, there's a natural posture to it because of that. Gravity will try to bring you down, but don't let it work with it. And stay grounded. Literally keep your feet attached to the ground magnetically. La la la, little preachy, little preachy, but do it. Um, do what you want to do. Find the simplest aspect of what you want to do and do that. Say what you want to do. Plan it out publicly. That's a good way to do it. Um, you're always going to get people that will tell you, you can't fucking do that. You can't. They'll tell you that, and they'll say it like that, too, and that's how you'll feel, and it, you can. That's what it comes down to, is you can do it. No matter what anyone says, you can do it. So, for me, seeing myself acknowledge that I want something is, is more impactful than thinking about it. Sometimes it's hard to hear yourself w w as you speak. So that's why recording it is great. And you don't have to put it on a video and you don't have to put it online, but record it, record it, write it down. If you need to write it down and reread it or record it into a micro recorder, like an audio recorder or fucking put it on video, whatever's easier for you, whatever's more enjoyable for you and listen to your plan and you'll see holes in your plan as you talk about them and you'll fill them in without thinking about it. That's a good way to get started. But do, do what you want to do. And if that means go fucking take a walk, go take a walk. But I'm telling you, there's something about recording your progress that's a lot like the progress itself. Right? What is progress but a recording? I mean, how many wise people have come and gone without the knowledge of anyone else? Without really, arguably, having benefited society to a level that they could have had they interacted with the rest? I don't know because they disappeared without knowing. So when you actually come to it and you get your job done, you get your work done, dude, I am really going on about something I don't even care about right now. I mean, I'm overly pushing some stupid topic. You know what to do. And I think the interaction is more important. We can lift each other up just by being there for each other. You know, just acknowledging that uh, you might feel a certain way. And to my other friend, uh, the girl that left the message who lives in Israel. Hi. Yeah, I think, you know, I miss the days kind of of when we would all get on YouTube and talk. I was just thinking about this earlier, back in the day of Renetto and Boheme, you know, P Paul and Ben as I would call them. But like all these, these YouTube personalities, this is like back in 2006. Basically, it was just, it's the same as it was now. It was a bunch of people with really huge YouTube channels doing their thing independent. Like Ben did movies, Bohem, you know, did like movie reviews, funny videos. Paul would do like crazy videos. Everyone had their own thing and they very rarely interacted with each other. And every once in a while you'd get like a hater, someone that would come on and be like, this person sucks, this person sucks. And it would cause like a little bit of a community force. 
But then I was like, at a point in my life where I gave such little shit about what people thought. I was like, you know what? I want to break onto the scene as hard and fast as I can. So I just started making videos directly to all these people with huge channels. And a lot of it was because I wanted to get known. It was like not for the right reasons. It wasn't because I really cared about what they thought. I mean, I, you know, I had enough friends. I wasn't looking to make new friends. I was looking to network. I was networking on YouTube and it caused this cascade of like community. Basically other people started calling it a community. And then I started thinking of the words like commune and communism and like, oh, there's no community. You know, I was all against it. I was like, God, I don't want to be some central figure in something but like if you're gonna start something it's your thing you know you're the central figure of the thing you started usually and uh, it, it you know it, it turned out I didn't know how it was gonna turn out it turned out pretty fucking awesome because I made a million friends out of it and I have met some of the most amazing people that have inspired me in what they've done since I've inspired them like Dave days I knew Dave back when you had first started out dude like before you even made videos, I think, and we would talk, or I would talk, and then Dave went on to become superstar, like, which inspires me to become a superstar. Like, Dave, I just watched your uh, VidCon video, <laughs> and like, how exciting being in a room, in a hotel room, like before the show, fucking signing autographs, girls crying, people in tears at just the ability to interact with you because of how much inspiration you've given them. Like, what the fuck? And that's just the beginning, dude. So you get what you give. And if you give inspiration or if you give yourself, I mean, you get people and people inspire you back. That's the great thing about making videos directly to people. And it may not happen immediately. Sometimes people see a video and they're like, what the fuck is this? But if you keep doing what you love to do, they'll remember you down the line. I feel like a horse, like every time a fly lands on me, I'm like, ah. That's what I knew. I got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm going to make these people remember me. It's not even about getting, an inter getting a response. I'm going to do something that will fucking shake up their mind so that no matter what, I'm in their mind. And then I ended up doing some things that I was really proud of and really happy with. And um, I think other people saw that and wanted to become a part of it. Still, I have confidence, you know, down the line of people like, yo, we need someone to fit that role. They'll remember me. That's the point. I mean, I know that as an actor. You want to walk into a room. It's not about being right for the role. Obviously, if you're not right for the role, you don't get the role, but you can't like turn yourself into right for the role, but well, you kind of can, but it's more about being remembered because they'll call you later. This is the river, I think, or one river. It looks a little dried up, actually. Bench over there. And, um, yeah, actually, I think this might be the river. I hear it's really nice to go in. Yeah, the mosquitoes are uh, saying hi. Can you hear that in the distance? Dude, I'm gonna run back. I'm so excited. And it's not gonna happen with a camera in my hand, which I'm sorry to say means that I'll be getting going. I'll be going. <laughs> going, going, it's still going. Ha, <laughs> Can you hear that dryness? that fallacy. <sighs> right now I'm, oh, it's picking my nose, man. I keep scratching that shit. It's a little embarrassing because on camera and I ain't gonna edit. Like I'm, I'm working right now on being honest without being too honest. People don't need to know everything. They don't want to know everything. No one wants all the doors opened at the same time. So you got to open the doors. I mean, you don't, you got to, yeah, you got to, I got to open the doors. So you got to open the doors, but you got to pick which doors you want to open. What truths do you want to relay? What parts of yourself and others do you want to see? 
And if someone has said, don't show that, it's a good idea not to show it. Sometimes. And that's when greatness comes in, because some of the greatest people have been told not to do something and then went ahead and did it anyway and turned out to be the greatest people in the history of humanity. Then other people have went on to do what they were told not to do and got into a lot of trouble for it. But that's what separates the great minds. We're all great minds. I was going to sit down and talk for a little while, but I feel like I've talked enough. I know, I know, I'll do another video tomorrow or something like that. Wouldn't it be great to just get into such a role that this is what I did every day? I went out, took a walk, and talked. It would be great. There's more to life than just talking. And I've been told that time and time again, but talking is part of life. For us as humans now, we have our language that we have developed. Maybe I should do videos in other languages, but that would mean I would have to learn the languages. Maybe I should cross the river. Maybe I should set the camera down and go crazy for a minute. Want to see that? This is what I do. This is what I do. I can't flail, and if I can't flail, I can't get my voice how I want it to be when it's crazy. But when I can flail, the story changes. All right, camera's down, camera's down. Can you see me now? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I wanna do a movie. I wanna do a movie! That's enough for today. Um, I'm gonna head back. I'm so blessed to have this camera, this material, this medium. And by medium, I mean my surroundings, these woods, these trees, uh, this air and this heat, this fucking setup is gorgeous. I'm gonna leave you with a bit of hieroglyphics. It's all been said before. I'll be seeing you around the bend.